I'm sorry, I had to bring that back. Ultimate Fighter Redemption. I've been waiting for this for so freaking long. They should bring that bring back that intro, by the way. That intro was so freaking awesome. And it's the Ultimate Fighter Redemption. So maybe we'll get to see it back. So anyway, what's going on, guys? This is Tyler Breck from T-Bone MMA. So the Ultimate Fighter Redemption starts Wednesday, April 19th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Team Garbrandt versus Team Dillashaw. But waiting for this. Since uh, Cody Garbrandt won the Ultimate Fighter, we knew that uh, he'd probably get TJ Dillashaw to fight him. I have been waiting for this for so long. And the Ultimate Fighter Redemption, what a great idea of bringing back fighters from so many memories, from so many years. Uh, dating back from 2005 to now. I cannot wait for this. So anyway, let's get started. I will have, periodically, I'll keep having episodes every Tuesday for a pre-fight and then uh, post-fight. Well, I'm, maybe not Tuesday, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to do pre-fight uh, going into the fights, and then post-fight recap. So anyway, let's get started. I'm just going to go through every single person on the cast. Let's get started with Seth Brzezinski. Uh He appeared on the Ultimate Fighter Team, uh, the Ultimate Fighter 11, Team Liddell versus Team Ortiz. He was 1-28 pick, but lost to get into the house versus Court McGee. He was then replaced he replaced an injured fighter, excuse me, and won his fight via uh, decision and moved to the quarterfinal round. He lost his fight via disqualification due to an illegal soccer kick that he apologized for. I remember that very well. I thought it landed to the chest. I couldn't quite, I can't quite remember, but I thought it landed to the chest, but it was ruled that it landed to the head. The other fighter couldn't continue. It was accidental, but he lost the fight via disqualification. His height is six foot three. His weight is 170 pounds. I believe they're going to do the weight division is 170 pounds. His reach is 76 inches. He's got 33 fights in his career. He's got 19 victories and 14 losses. All his victories, 7 were by knockout, 10, 10 were by submission, and 2 by decision. But, uh, his losses, he's got 14 losses, 4 by knockout, 5 submission losses, and 5 decision losses. He's got 11 fights in the UFC, and he went 5-6, and six, and he also has 2 fight of the nights. Uh, he's, a, he's got a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He trains out of power MMA in Arizona. He's got one in six in his last seven fights, and he hasn't won a fight since 2013. He's defeated some high-level opponents, though, and Matt Brown and Neil Magny. He's fought, in his career, he's fought many fighters in his career. Matt Brown, Neil Magny, Tiago Alves, Alan Joban, and many other fighters. All right, the next fighter is Mehit, Me, Mendy uh, Baghdad. He fought on the Ultimate Fighter 22. You, Team McGregor versus Team Favor. That was a very fun uh, season. Uh, he was on Team Europe. He defeated Artem Labov, who was uh, he's going to be fighting. I believe he's fighting next next uh, next uh, UFC on on FS1. So that's kind of funny. He defeated uh, Artem Labov via majority decision uh, after two rounds. I don't really care for that rule. The two rounds and then it's going to a major then it's going to a decision. If it's tied, then it goes to the third round. I don't really care for that rule. But anyway, he lost his next fight to Julian Arosa via the majority decision in two rounds and that eliminated him from the competition. All right, his height is six foot one. His weight is 155 pounds. He'll have to fight at 170 for this, for this contest. His reach is 75 inches. He's got 11 wins and five losses to his record. Uh, eight victories are by knockout, three wins by submission, and zero by decision. Of his five losses, two were by knockout, one by submission, and two by decision. He's also 31 years old. He's had two fights in the UFC. He's got 0-2 in the UFC. He has 8-2 in his last 10 fights, but he's been 0-2 since being off the Ultimate Fighter. He's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He trains out of Black Horse Gym. Uh, he's fought Chris Wade and John McDessie. Uh, his six, he's got six First round finishes to his record, and that's uh, in 11 victories. And he's finished all of his 11 victories. He's fought Charles Oliveira in 2008, and that was the second fight of his career. That's kind of interesting. Okay, the next fighter. Sorry, one. Okay, the next fighter, Justin Edwards. He fought on Tough 13, Lesnar versus DeSantos. He was a replacement fighter for uh, Keon Codwell, making him a member of Team DeSantos. He lost in the first in his first fight uh, versus Tony Ferguson via upkick, which eliminated him from the competition. Uh, his height is five foot ten. Uh, he's got a reach of seventy inches and a weight of one hundred and seventy pounds. He's got thirteen fights in his career. Eight wins or by or he's got eight wins and five losses. Eight of, of his eight victories, excuse me. One was by knockout, six wins by submission, and one by decision. 
He's got five losses, though. One was by knockout, one by submission, and three by decision. He's got two and five in the UFC with one submission the night bonus. He's got two and five in his last seven. But he's a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He trains out of American Top Team in Ohio. And he's on a three-fight losing streak right now. But he did go 5-2 and two in his amateur career. Okay, next fighter. Tom Galicio. Uh, he was on Tough 22, McGregor versus Faber. He defeated Mike Flatch via round one uh, submission. And is eliminated in the eliminator fights. But he lost opening round versus uh, Marcin Warzernik uh, via round two unanimous decision. Again, I don't like that rule. He is five foot nine. He he fights at one fifty five, and he's from Tom's Rambert, New Jersey. He's got twenty eight fights in his career, nineteen victories and nine losses. Of his vic- nineteen victories, zero were by knockout, thirteen wins by submission, and six by decision. His nine losses, three were by knockout, four by submission, and two by decision. He has not had a single fight in the UFC. He has gone three and one uh, in his last four fights, four and four in his last eight, and he, but he lost his last fight. He trains out of Team Quest. He's fought in many different organizations. He's fought in the Triumph, Triumph FC, MFC, K, King of the Cage, M1, WFC, and many others. But he's got all one since the Ultimate Fighter. Okay, the next fighter is Eddie Gordon. He's on Tough 19, Edgar versus Penn. He won that tournament, actually. He won his, uh, he won his fights on uh, the Ultimate Fighter all by decision. And he defeated Diego Lima via round one KO. Diego Lima's on this Ultimate Fighter. Wait a minute. Okay, he defeated him. Uh, oh, yeah. All of his fights in the house were won by decision. Let me rephrase that. And he defeated Diego Lima via round one KO to win Tough 19. He was criticized by Dana White, and so was the whole uh, the whole show for a lack of urgency because all of his victories were by decision. He is six foot tall, and he's fought in 185 pounds. He's got a 75-inch reach. Uh, he's from Montego Bay, Jamaica. He's got 12 fights in his career, 8 wins and 4 losses. Of his 8 victories, 3 were by knockout, 1 by submission, and 4 by decision. He's got 4 losses to his credit, uh, 1 by knockout, 1 by submission, and 2 by decision. He's had 4 fights in the UFC, but he's gone 1-3 and three in the promotion. Yet again, he's gone 1-3 and three in his last 4 fights. He won the Ring of Combat Light Heavyweight Championship in 2012. He last won, his last victory was in August of 2016 via split, deci- via split decision. Versus uh, Chris Lanzano at Cage Fury Fighting Championship 68. Okay, the next fighter is Hadir Hassan. He was on Tough 19, American Top Team versus the uh, Black Zillions. Uh, he defeated Andrew uh, Narcana via t- TKO in 48 seconds. Then he won Majority Decision versus Felipe Portola. Portal, and then Split Decision vis- versus uh, Vincente Lu- I'm sorry, I cannot say that guy's last name. But lost in the finale versus Kamaru Usman via arm cri- triangle in the second round. Kamaru Usman is a very talented fighter. He's 34 years old. Uh, he's five foot ten. He weighs 170 pounds, and he uh, fights trains out of American Top Team. I just remember this now. I forgot to do my uh, Bruce Buffer intro. My bad. I'm sorry. I get, got distracted a little bit there. Uh, maybe I'll edit it in. I'll try to figure that out. <laughs> anyway, he's got six victories and three losses. Of his six victories, five. Five are by knockout, zero by submission, and one by decision. Three losses, one was by knockout, two by decision, and zero wins by decision. He's got 0-2 in the UFC. He's on a two-fight losing streak right now, and he lost to an Anaconda choke versus uh, Vincente Larocque via round one. Yeah, Anaconda choke. He went 6-1 and one before his career in the UFC. So both of his losses in the UFC were by submission. Okay, tough 15. Oh, no, 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 James Kraus. He was on Tough 19, Ultimate Fighter Live. He lost in the elimination round versus uh, Justin Lawrence uh, via round one TKO in one minute and 25 seconds. So he never got a chance to actually be on the show. Uh, he's six foot two, uh, weighs 170 pounds, and his reach is 73 inches. He fights out of glory, MMA, and fitness. His record is 23 wins and seven losses. Of his 23 wins, six were by knockout, seven, 14 by submission, and three by decision. Of his seven losses, one was by knockout, two by submission, and four by decision. He's gone. He's had seven fights in the UFC, and he went four and three. He's got, also got thirty fights in his career, which is a crazy amount. <clears throat> he's he is on a two fight lo- winning streak right now. Uh, he's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's uh, fought in WEC, Bellator, Titan FC, RFA, IFC, and the UFC. In the UFC, 
uh, in his victories. Two are by submission, one by TKO, and one by decision. So he's got a very good UFC record. He's probably going to be the top pick, in my opinion. Okay, Julian Lane. This guy was very fun to watch. Very interesting that. Very interesting personality. If you watch Tough 16, uh, Carwin versus Nelson, you would understand. Uh, he won his eliminator el eliminator fight via versus uh, Diego Bautista via round two unanimous decision, but he lost his alt uh, opening round via round two a unanimous decision. And then, if you remember that, uh, he had that let me bang meltdown where he kind of got. He drank a little too much in the house, and he kind of had a big meltdown. He kept saying, let me bang, let me bang. And that's kind of become an internet meme. So he's certainly going to bring some uh, good personality to the house. Uh, he's gone five... Oh, oh never mind. Uh, his height is five foot ten. His weight is 155 pounds, and he fights out of rec room athletics. He's got 18 fights in his career, 11, vic 11 victories, 7 losses... Uh, of his 11 wins, one was by knockout slash TKO, seven by submission, and three by decision. In his seven losses, four were by knockout, zero by submission, and three by decision. He has no UFC experience. He's gone two and five in his last seven fights, but he has gone two and one in his last three fights. Get this, he's got seven guillotine choke submissions. Seven guillotines. Seven of his submissions uh, were by, seven of his submission victories were by guillotine. Um, uh, he lost his last fight via head kick KO. Uh, he's been very active since on the Ultimate Fighter. He's had lots of fights since being on the Ultimate Fighter uh, just a few years ago. Okay, the next fight is Diego Lima. He's he fought on Tough 19, uh, Team Edgar versus Team Penn. He won his he won his eliminated elimination fight via round two unanimous decision. He won his quarter quarterfinal fight via round round two rear naked choke. He won semifinal in 35, 34 second armbar, but he lost, finale, lost his finale versus Eddie Gordon via uh, one minute knockout. Eddie Gordon is also on the show, so that's very interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he's 37 years old, so he's one of the oldest in the house. He's six foot two. Uh, he's fought at 170 pounds, and he trains out of American Top Team. He's got 12 victories and five losses, so what's that? 17 fights to his uh, in his career. Of his victories, three were by knockout, four by submission, and five by decision. Of his five losses, four were by knockout, zero by submission, and one by decision. He has got one and three in the UFC, and he was released back in 2015. He's gone three and four in his last seven fights, but two and one in his last three. He defeated David Mashad in 2016, and I actually have trained with David Mashad. He used to train in Sioux Falls. I can't remember. I'm not sure where he's at right now. I got to see him fight at the RFA in, here in Sioux Falls. But he defeated David Mashad. He had some UFC experience. <clears throat> Excuse me. He trains out of American Top Team in Atlanta. And he's also a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. <clears throat> okay, the next fighter is Ram Ramsey Najim. He fought in Tough 13. Lesnar versus Dos Santos. I remember watching that. That Tough 13, that was so long ago. It's crazy. He won all three of his fights in the house. He won his uh, preliminary bout via round two rear naked choke. He won his quarterfinal bout via rear naked choke in 56 seconds. Semifinal bout, uh, he won via TKO in round two, but he lost his finale via KO versus a guy named Tony Ferguson, who is Tony Ferguson. I'm just joking. Uh, his height is five foot eleven. His weight is 155. He's fought at 155 pounds. He's got a 74 inch reach, and he trains out of the pit in Utah. Uh, he's got 15 fights in his career, 9 victories, and 6 losses. Of his 9 victories, 3 are by knockout, 2 by submission, and 4 by decision. Of his 6 losses, however, 3 are by knockout, 2 by submission, and 1 by decision. He's got 10 fights in his career. 10 of his 15 fights were in, his, in the UFC. He's gone 5-5 five and five in the UFC. He's 2-2 two and two in his last 4 fights, 2-4 and four in his last 6, but 0-2 oh in his last 2 fights. So he's on a 2-fight losing streak right now. He's got a black or a background in Division One wrestling. He went twenty-seven and five in his high school senior year, and that won him, I believe, wrestler of the year in his home state. Uh, he did not have an amateur career; he just skipped amateurs and went directly to the pros. Uh, he's the head coach of his gym in Utah, of the Pit in Utah. He lost his last fight via split decision in July of two thousand fifteen, so he's been out for a very long time. And he's got a crazy amount of experience in the UFC. He's got 10 fights. Okay, the next fighter is Gilbert Smith. He's on tough 17, which is Jones versus Son in a very good season. He won his elimination fight via arm triangle choke in, in the first round. But he lost his opening round fight via KO uh, flying knee in, in the second round versus Luke Barnett. 
Uh, his height is five foot nine. He's 170 pounds. He's 35 years old, and he trains out of Team Victory. Uh, he's got 12 wins and six losses, so 18 fights in his career. 12 wins. Uh, one was by knockout, seven submissions, and four by decision. He's got six losses in his career, zero by knockout, one by submission, and five wins or five losses by decision. He's got 0-1 in the UFC. He was just most recently in Bellator where he went when he went 0-2 in the promotion. He lost though in his his last two fights. He went three and one in the RFA, and he lost his uh UFC his only UFC fight the uh, triangle slash armbar. Uh, he's got seven seven submission victories. Four of those s- submission victories were by rear naked choke. He's got two arm bars and one guillotine. Uh, he's got a five and zero amateur record, uh, amateur career, uh, where he had four submission victories. Okay, this next fighter was the biggest shock that uh, that we heard of. Uh, Joe Daddy Stevenson is making is making a return back into the UFC. He was a season two Ultimate Fighter win- winner. Can you guess who the coaches were? They were Matt Hughes and Rich Franklin. Gosh, that was so long ago. So long ago. I was just a little little, little shaver. Uh, he defeated uh, J- Jason Von Flew via round one submission. And he defeated Luke uh, Kumo via round three decision to win the finale. It was a little bit different back then. There was only four fighters in the in the watchweight division. And I believe there was four fighters in the uh, heavyweight division. And Rashad Evans was actually one of them. He's got, he's got the most experience. <coughs> Excuse me. He's got four. He's got the most experience in the house. He's got get this, forty nine fights in his career. He's only thirty four years old, which is just crazy. Uh, he's got thirty three wins and sixteen losses. Of his thirty three victories, he's got seven knockouts, fifteen submissions, and eleven decisions. In his sixteen losses, he's been knocked out twice. He's been submitted five times, and he lost via decision nine times. He's got eighteen fights in the UFC, which is a crazy amount. He's went eight and ten in the UFC. He was on a six-fight losing streak before uh, retiring in 2012, but he made his return in 2015, and he's got he lost his uh, can you call it a debut in his return? But he's on a two-fight winning streak since. He's been fighting since May 15th of 1999, before I was even born, and I'm in a junior. I'm a junior in high school. That's just insane. He's been fighting for so long. If you remember way back, he fought BJ Penn for the title, and he had that really bad cut, and he lost the fight via round. Round uh, round two, I believe, submission. Uh, he went three and eight after uh, after uh, fighting BJ Penn before retiring, and like I said before, he's gone two and one since. He's only thirty four years old, which is just insane for having forty nine fights, and and has been retired for like four years. Uh, he's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's a black belt in Judo, and I'm just gonna list off the big names that he's fought in his career. He's fought Leave. Uh, Yves Edwards, Melvin Gillard, Kurt Pellegrino, BJ Penn, Gleason Tebow, Kenny Florian, Diego Sanchez, Nate Diaz, Spencer Fisher, George Sauteropoulos, Mike Danzig, and many, many others. <coughs> okay, this next fighter is Jesse Taylor. He was on the Ultimate Fighter Season 7. That was even a long time ago. Rampage Jackson versus Forrest Griffin. Rampage Jackson was the light heavyweight champion at the time, just to give you some perspective there. Uh, he won the ultimate, fu- or no, he won the elimination bout via round, uh, rear naked choke. He won his preliminary bout via ra- rear naked choke. He won his quarterfinal bout via unanimous, de- unanimous decision. He won a semifinal bout via unanimous decision and was supposed to fight for the finale, but he never fought due to Dana White taking him off the show. I'm not going to explain exactly why. You can look it up if you want to, but he engaged in some behavior that uh, did not represent the UFC, so Dana pulled him from uh, the ultimate fighter. From fight in the UFC, actually, he fought. He's fought only one fight in the UFC. Uh, he's six foot one. He weighs 185 pounds. By the way, he's probably matured a lot since that event. <clears throat> he's got a 73 inch reach, and he trains out of Team Quest. He's got 45 fights in his career. By the way, going back to that, that one little mistake. What it was a very dumb mistake. I'm not going to explain what it was. Cost him a, a career in the UFC. So just be smart, okay? He's got 45 fights in his career, especially for fighting. He's got 45 fights in his career. He's got 30 victories, 5 by knockout, 16 by submission, and 9 by decision. He's got 15 losses to uh, in his career, 0 by knockout. And get this, 14 submission losses. Only one decision loss. That's that's almost suspicious. That, that's weird. Maybe I, I read the website wrong, but that's what I read. He's 0-1 in the UFC, and he's lost his, and his only... 
His only fight in the UFC was a submission loss versus uh, C.B. Dalloway. He's gone three and six in his last nine fights and one and three in his last four fights. He's got a background in Division One wrestling. I'm sorry. He's got a background in Division One wrestling, and he's a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He lost his last fight via armbar in October of 2016. <coughs> okay, the final fighter. Last but not least, Hector Urbina. He's on the to the Ultimate Fighter Season 19, Edgar vs. Penn. A lot of fighters coming out of that season. I'm not sure why. He won his uh, elimination fight via round one guillotine choke, but he lost his quarterfinal fight via round three decision. Uh, he's six foot tall and weighs 170 pounds. He's got 28 fights in his career, 17 victories and 10 losses. He's got nine knockouts to his credit, five submissions and two decisions. Of his 10 losses, six were by knockout, two by submission, and two by decision. He has three fights in the UFC and he went one and two. And now he's on a two-fight losing streak. He's gotten six wins, seven losses, and one draw in his last 14 fights. He trains out of American Top Team, and he last fought. <coughs> his last fight went uh, one minute, and he got knocked out in September of 2016. So that's every fighter. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. Uh, for every single fight, they're going to announce the fight probably more than likely. I'm not, what, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do for the first uh, event. For the first episode, I'm not sure exactly what's good, what's uh, gonna happen, but uh, for every fight, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna review every single fighter. And I'm gonna explain what's going on in the house, what how relations are. From what I've heard, it's gonna be a pretty good season, especially with the rivalry between uh, uh, T.J. Dillashaw and Do or not Dominic Cruz, uh, Cody Garbrandt. So I'm really excited for it. I can't wait. It's gonna be kind of a series for me. So I'm really looking forward to it. By the way, if you haven't checked out my website, my website is tboneMMA1.weaves.com. I've got pretty much every single video I got on there. I got information about me. I got information about my podcast. I got every single one of my videos on there. And I also have a Facebook. T-Bone a Facebook page. So T-Bone MMA. So if you could please like it and please support it, that'd mean the world to me. <coughs> uh so yeah. And that's it. I'm gonna I'm going to keep visiting you guys weekly, probably every Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure exactly when. Stand by for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to say now. The Ultimate Fighter starts tomorrow night at 9 p.m. I live in Central Time. 9 p.m. Central Time, 10 o'clock in the East. I cannot wait for it. So this is Tyler Breck from T1 MMA. I'm sorry I didn't have my intro ready. Uh, this is Tyler Breck from T1 MMA, and I'll catch you guys later.